welcome to Ubuntu Radio, Minister and uh, uh, Vice uh, Minister. Thank you. Very happy to be here. And uh, I just want to salute all the, the listeners. Thank you so much. But we will start with you, Deputy Minister, uh, as the host of uh, this uh, meeting. What was the purpose in some of the key discussions and outcomes of today's meeting? Well, today uh, was uh, to solidify the bilateral uh, relationship between South Africa and Italy. Uh, we managed to participate in the first inaugural uh, bilateral uh, discussions uh, between uh, the two countries. Uh, importantly for us was the areas of trade and investment, uh, secondly education and training, science uh, and uh, technology, and uh, how we utilize the Italian capabilities within defense and the water industry to build a better South Africa and a better Africa. And uh, looking at uh, South Africa's relations with Italy, they were established in 1929, which will be a century if we look at 2029. And uh, Italy keep keeping a mission and two consulates in South Africa, while South Africa, on the other hand, has an embassy in Rome, a consulate in Milan, and several uh, seven honorary consuls across Italy. Now tell us more about these de uh, relations, because they are clearly deep. Yes, um, we have a pre-democracy uh, demo type of a relationship uh, with uh, the Italian people uh, to the extent uh, that uh, you have the Sonderwater heritage site where you have uh, prisoners of war from Italy that they find uh, the, it to be their last resting place. So there's, there's a lot of history, a common history, and uh, the Italian people has played a, a, a role in the liberation of the oppressed people in the world, and they have played a role to deepen uh, our plight uh, as South Africa during the anti-apartheid struggle. So this is not a new partner, it's an old friend, uh, and we have today used the bilateral as opportunity uh, to deepen trade. Uh, I must immediately say that uh, we are related that, uh, as we are speaking, uh, our trade relationships with Italy stands at uh, 45.7 billion rand, uh, of which 12.9 uh, 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 billion uh, is actually in terms of foreign direct investments. Uh, so you have uh, quite uh, significant uh, financial services company like Investec. Uh, you have Budvest that they find uh, uh, in Italy a home. Uh, for South African investment. So so we are very elated that our relationship have extended to economic prosperity. Speaking of trade and investment, let's talk about the opportunities that are available for South African businesses in Italy and what are the advantages of that? Well, uh, there's, there's advantages about uh, a common economic uh, terrain. Um, Italy have actually uh, uh, deepened collaboration uh, with South Africa especially in relation to your financial services uh, and services industry. Um, and in return, remember, we have identified as the South African government, amongst others, textile and automobile uh, industry as key uh, industries for South African business uh, to flourish. Uh, there has been um, uh, a deepened investment of Ferrari and Iveco in the automotive uh, uh, sectors. We had Prada that have actually opened the biggest retail uh, uh, store in South Africa. So they, they, they is a, it, there's a common uh, sense of uh, you know economic uh, partnership that has been deepened. Um, and we think that uh, we will be able through our ongoing relationship. Uh, I think it's our intent as South Africa to reach uh, uh, the 100, uh, 100 uh, million uh, partnership in terms of immediate trade and, and, and uh, trade with the Italian uh, people. And, and I think that is some of the discussions that we have managed to have with the uh, Vice Minister Dilare. And finally, Minister, the focus for most governments uh, has been the young population. And South Africa is no exception because there are a lot that young people are dealing with uh, if we talk about unemployment. What would you say has been the benefit for the country's youth, especially if we look in academia and science? Yeah, look, uh, the, the important issue um, 
as we are speaking, there is a partnership and uh, collaboration with uh, among six South African universities with six universities of Italy. But uh, what we should underline it's how do we use a, uh, the Italian language as an instrument for mobility for our young people. Um, in detail, we have looked at what is opportunities within the, the defense sector and how we can uh, upskill and our, up, up train our young people and young graduates uh, to harness and take up the opportunities represented by the defense industry. And I think it's important to do uh, uh, acclamation to the fact that uh, Italy is uh, the eighth biggest economy in the world. In uh, South Africa, that strives for less poverty, uh, for more uh, economic inclusivity and, rest and, and reduce inequality, have certain notes and lessons to uh, take from uh, uh, the Italian people and its government and what actually amplified uh, our relationship today is that there is willingness of the Italian uh, leadership to subscribe uh, to the inclusive prosperity of the African agenda and uh, that, that was the cornerstones of our discussions today uh, with uh, our Vice Minister of Italy. Thank you so much, uh, Deputy Minister. And over to you, uh, Vice uh, Minister. Let's talk about the meeting first and, and foremost. What would you say are today's highlights that are worth mentioning? Well, I say that uh, we felt very much at home, as uh, old friends should feel. And we hope that in the future, uh, South Africans will also feel the same when coming to visit us in, uh, in Rome. Uh, the meeting that was organized by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and in particular by uh, Deputy Minister uh, Alvin Bodes was uh, particularly intense because as he has mentioned uh, just now, the topics were very many. We covered uh, all the aspects of uh, every single uh, issue. We were uh, absolutely supported in our discussion by s experts from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of uh, South Africa as well as being experts from my part from the Italian side and therefore this was uh, of course uh, an asset because we had the opportunity to make a complete assessment of uh, the situation, see what we have done in the past, what is ongoing and what we can do in the future because the relation is very strong and uh, the activities already ongoing are very important and therefore you know, the uh, agenda that we have uh, in front of us is very, very intense. I also want to say that for, of course South Africa is uh, for us uh, a fundamental part and apart from anything, uh, South Africa is by far our most important uh, commercial and economic partner in, in uh, sub-Saharan Africa. And of course, you know, it's uh, natural that we unite our forces, not only in terms of uh, economic uh, advancement and prosperity, but also because uh, we share values. As the uh, Deputy Minister mentioned, we have been uh, really one of the most active countries uh, you know, in supporting uh, the, the, the struggle against apartheid over the years, and therefore you know, we consider uh, our path really uh, united and uh, you know, projected uh, for a better future for all. Before we can focus on relations between South Africa and Italy, allow me to detour a little bit as someone who has lived in South Africa and as an observer in our first democratic elections in 1994. How would you say the country has evolved from then since now? Well, actually, this is an emotional question that you're asking because uh, my memories uh, from the time of apartheid are, uh, of course, uh, very painful. Uh, for the conditions in which uh, the African people were kept. And uh, of course, I have also had the opportunity to stay in a township in Mamelodi. And uh, I remember very well you know, what the, the situation was like. And uh, I, can, I could never be more grateful to the fathers of South Africa, in particular, of course, Madiba, for having endured their battles and having uh, really give us uh, all in the world a lesson of uh, respect of human rights and especially you know the fact that you can even from a, a huge condition of uh, uh, you know oppression like the one you were living here uh, have the opportunity to create a country which is democratic open even more advanced you know than, than many european countries in terms of uh, uh, civil liberties and others 
I, during the elections in 1994, uh, I also had the opportunity to understand uh, how important that historical moment was, and I was able, obviously, to participate with the population to the process. And I think that that is uh, also another moment in which South Africa taught a huge lesson to the world, because democratic elections are the fund foundation of democracy. And I think that this is why we consider South Africa the moral authority, let me say this, of, uh, of Africa in this respect. The Deputy Minister mentioned Italy's commitment to the development of the African continent. And uh, one aspect that stands out about Italy is the strength of the country's industrial system. Now, how do you think that South Africa is going to benefit from that, seeing that the African continent at large is focusing on industrialization? Well, uh, of course, we are ready to share our experiences. Um, we have uh, a huge number of sectors in which our industries are very strong. Uh, for instance, we are the second manufacturer, uh, manufacturing country for uh, you know its uh, production in Europe, and of course, uh, one of the first in the world. And this comes from a long tradition, from a development that is gradually expanded and has consolidated uh, the foundation of, on which it is based, which are, of course, uh, you know, the pursuing in quality especially and in finding uh, in innovation and technological innovation the ability to be always uh, at pace with history and especially to develop contemporary strategies so of course the n the number of uh, sectors in which we can be definitely winning in our uh, partnership and i want to remind uh, all of us that uh, you know nowadays uh, of course we talk about uh, partnerships on equal basis with all the african countries is uh, something that uh, could uh, range from, uh, of course, uh, textile, as it has been mentioned, to energy, which is very important, the water sector, which is fundamental, transport, infrastructure. We have a lot to offer, as, as well as defense, of course, with uh, uh, a number of, uh, uh, of important aspects, and not to mention, uh, as I did at the beginning, uh, commerce and trade and uh, you know other economic sectors. All of these always accompanied by the very important issue that was mentioned before by Deputy Minister Minister which is education, the youth, women empowerment, which are the absolute lymph on which every healthy society must, uh, must uh, base its own uh, development. And in this sense, Italy is on the front line and also on the forefront in the sense that we are able to uh, share our lessons learned and also learn a lot from you for what you have done. And you've just touched on my final question because uh, diplomacy goes beyond politics, uh, Defence Minister. And uh, the focus has been now on soft diplomacy. So what would you say that Italy has learned so far from South Africa and also focusing on the people-to-people -people relations? I think that uh, what we learn from South Africa is the ability to live in diversity, which is a, a very important element and a very important message that we have to give the, the world nowadays. These are uh, times in which we really have to reflect on uh, the way we uh, live together, the, the way we share our future. And this is why Italy is always promoting uh, an idea of shared development rather than, than just development, because we have to uh, build our future together. So we can learn a lot from the experience of South Africa, and we can also contribute because, uh, in fact, as I mentioned, we have uh, a system in which uh, all actors are involved and have, uh, of course, uh, the, the opportunity to express their ability to contribute to the prosperity of a country and in this sense definitely we can uh, uh, somehow uh, unite our forces and also be uh, helpful to other countries so this is uh, in general the view that I see after this meeting which was uh, not only fruitful under the, the technical point of view because this technical aspect is fundamental we are going to exchange technical teams to face the very specific aspect of every single issue we touched upon but also also, obviously, the more general overarching policy. This is why now that uh, the, um, South Africa will be the leader of the, the, the African Union, will be on, on the South Africa side, we are the only country who has uh, uh, an ambassador at the, 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 the only country from Europe, an ambassador at the African Union in Addis Abeba, just to tell you how much we attach the importance to that particular international organization. And we want to be part of uh, uh, you know, these processes. 
we will uh, already uh, we have decided that we will uh, participate in a number of initiatives together we have the opportunity really to work side by side in a number of uh, uh, sectors climate change is one of these in fact uh, I have invited South Africa to participate in COP26 because it's very important and therefore you know as you see the the horizon that has opened in front of our eyes after this meeting is uh, very wide and um, I'm very happy that uh, we have uh, come to concrete solutions and of course the work that we have to do <laughs> in front you know ahead of us is uh, is definitely quite uh, exciting Vice Minister, thank you so much for your time and also Deputy Minister for gracing Ubuntu Radio with your presence. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That was uh, the South African Deputy Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Mr. Alvin Portis, and as well as the Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation in Italy, Emanuela Del Rey. And they were talking to us about the inaugural meeting of the South Africa-Italy bilateral consultations. And they've touched on a number of issues looking at the relations between the, con the two countries that we established in 1929. Uh, there's a lot that we cooperate on, that is uh, trade as well as science and uh, technology together with the textile industry, which is something that is great for South Africa because uh, the South African economy in the past, that what it has been focusing on textile. You are on Ubuntu Radio, South Africa's public diplomacy in action.